Hi there, uh, my name's uh, Dr Warren Pearce, I'm from the School of Sociology and Social Policy in the University of Nottingham and I work as a research fellow on the Leverhulme Trust funded project Making Science Public, which is a five year programme, a uh, major programme looking at how scientific knowledge, knowledge is used and understood in society and essentially the, the kind of the meeting points and sometimes attention points between politics, science and society. My particular research within that programme is about climate change and I'm very interested in the meanings which become attached to climate change and how it's moved from being something which really was just a scientific concept, so climate change is something that we, we only know about due to the many years of great scientific inquiry that's gone on around climate change. Um, how that's now changed into becoming uh, climate change is now a very political uh, topic, um, as it should be, as it becomes something which society becomes bothered about and it's risen up policy agendas. Of course, it should become a political topic and not just something that's restricted to being scientific. But because climate change is still thought of in very scientific terms, a lot of the time still discussed in very scientific terms, we get a real friction between the scientific knowledge and the social knowledge about climate change. So I'm very interested in the meanings, um, both in policy circles and in, in, in social public circles about climate change. So um, just to give you some examples, uh, within policy circles, uh, climate change, if you're thinking about policies to reduce carbon emissions, if you're thinking about it in a very rational, scientific way, we have um, carbon emissions means something, reducing carbon emissions means uh, tackling climate change in some way. But for many of the people who have to implement those policies, reducing carbon emissions means something different. It means changing the way perhaps they do their job, the way they've done their job for the last 20, 30 years. It could be a real challenge to their professional identity. So then it be, climate change becomes something which means very different things to, very diff to different people, often within the same organisation or working even in the same office. So that's one aspect of my research. I'm very interested in how uh, the nitty-gritty of implementing climate policy um, within, within organisations, often locally. And then also I'm very interested in the work we're doing at the moment is about the meaning of climate change within public spheres. And we're, we're looking particularly at um, recent, uh, the big recent climate science reports by the IPCC, the Intergovernmental Panel, Panel on Climate Change, we're looking at uh, social media discussions about them and the kind of meanings, different plural meanings that people attach to climate change there. So people talked about it in scientific terms, but they also talked about it in terms of solutions, uh, in terms of local politics as well, even though this is very global scientific reports, people were relating them to their local political issues. Um, as well as some of the kind of more polarised things which maybe you might expect uh, about people either talking about it in catastrophic terms or people, critics, talking about it in terms of um, scientific malpractice, etc. Um, so very different, a, a, a real wide variety, this kind of rainbow of different meanings that people attach to climate change, which really just highlight that there's a lot more going on here than just kind of the basic climate science. We've now moved into a very different phase where climate change means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. This feeds back to the science to some extent. So we're looking very much at that those tension points between science and society, and I think climate change is a real kind of uh, perfect example for doing that.